Hey, how's it going, guys? Coming at you with another video today. Uh, it's a very nice, beautiful day outside, as you can see. Uh, I decided to change up the venue a little bit, just come outside and give you guys a little bit of my book review today that I'm going to show you. The book review I'm going to show you today is called Crossroads of Freedom, about Antietam, the battle that changed the course of the Civil War by James McPherson. And what's really good about this book is that it really kind of hones in on how important this battle was. Especially now, especially when you think of other battles like Gettysburg and Corinth, and any other battles, Civil War campaigns that you read about, when when you read about this book, you kind of learn that this was kind of the main event of the war that really changed everything for the United States. And as you know about the Battle of Antietam, it was the bloodiest one-day battle of the Civil War, bloodiest in American history. Uh, it had 23,000 casualties in 12 hours in one day. Um, very, very bloody battle, guys. I suggest you read about it. And this book kind of gives you a very, very good... Uh, reference <clears throat> reference point how the how this battle was fought out how the political implications uh, were important for the battle especially him when he talks about how the Confederacy wanted for recognition and if a defeat of a northern army on northern soil would convince them they would recognize the Confederacy as a whole so it's a really good book guys I give it four out of five um, it's sometimes to get a little bit opinionated at some points, like for example, he kind of talks about McClellan, that he uses a typical McClellan cliche story that he was being cautious during the campaign, I really was questioning that the whole entire book. Um, and it's a really, really interesting point into how um, historians have typical biases toward one another, and this book kind of basically kind of eclipses that. James McPherson does have a symbol of bias toward McClellan um, when professional historians shouldn't really have personal opinions at all. So it's a very good book. It talks about how not only just the political implications for recognition, but also talked about how it changed how the United States would function after this battle. You know, because it changed the day forever. It's kind of like their 9-11 of their, of their time. Uh, and... Uh, what was interesting about that too is that it kind of showed an eclipse of of uh, how it kind of eclipsed our our 9/11 when we had it. Um, kind of showed how nobody had no idea what was going to happen in that September of 1862, just like we weren't expecting 9/11 to happen in uh, in 2001. So it really kind of hones in on how people just really. Um, deal with the situation, especially in the aftermath of the battle where there was, I believe it was 6,000 dead, um, 17,000 wounded, I can't remember what the exact thing was, but it's a very, very good book, guys. It's it's not bad, but if you are going to read it, I suggest you just really question what he says sometimes. Sometimes it could be, tend to be a little biased, uh, so I really suggest that to you guys. It's a very, very good book. I give it a 4 out of 5. It's it's also very good, um, makes you understand the battle a little bit more simpler than you would in a little detailed book like with Stephen Sears' uh, book called Landscape Turned Red, which goes into very big detail of the campaign and of the battle itself. Um, but it's a very interesting book because, you know, it never really comes to mind of how people think of how Antietam actually impacted the war. Because in my opinion, this battle kind of impacted me a little bit more than Gettysburg or any other battlefield that I've been to. Because, in my opinion, it really was not Gettysburg where the nation was decided. It was on the farmlands of Maryland where it was decided. So it's a very good book, guys. I really suggest it to you. If you want to check it out, check it out on Amazon. If you like this video, give it a like. Um, click the subscribe button if you like any of my videos. I'll give you new content every day. Make sure to click the bell notification next to you so you can get newer videos every day for more content. Sorry, I haven't, and by the way, I've, sorry I've been posting in a while. Uh, it's been a crazy week, so I didn't get a chance to make any videos because I was busy reading a book and I'll also be reading I'll be reading Team of Rivals next which talks about the political um, history of the, of the war and also how it influenced the military aspects of it and I will tie it in when I give you my guys video on um, on the battle the anti the battle of Antietam and the Antietam campaign and I will give you guys the political and context background in that first video and then next it will be just you know goes on from there to there to there so I thank you guys for watching this with me you guys have a blessed day. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you later.